So just wait, watch, look out for the next episode so you just get the full trading because so that this video should respond to most of the questions and uh, comments of our people, our users that are watching the video or our viewers to just understand what we are doing here. So let me just open a buy and sell in this boom 500 here. I just take sell, I take buy, all right? So that's it. So we are also now monitoring on this um, this market here. And then, uh, as, as usual, I'll be waiting for a spike to occur. And then um, we'll see how it goes from there. And then uh, let me check this boom. Okay. We're getting close to this support level here. And then um, it's possible. Let me see. Well, boom, 1000. Okay. Okay. okay, let me just put everything. All right, so you see, I've closed all my boom 1000 trades, so that's how you do this trade. That's how you do this strategy. So you can see that you traded your boom even with a spike, you st we still came out in profit. You can see our profit three dollars 30 cents, and this is just from our first trade and you can do is like a it's a scalp it's a edging scalp strategy it's a scalping edging strategy you can you can decide to call it anything like but i take it as a scalping edging you don't need to stay so long in a trade because you don't know the direction that the market may take so we've closed this first one here you can see we had four trades boom one thousand you can see that the four trade oh you see you see what i was saying guys you can see that the spike just occurred now you can see exactly what i said it came to that support level and a spike occurred again. So this is what we are talking about. But this spike that occurred now is not like we are lucky to escape the the trade or probably a loss. No. No. If you use the proper uh, recommended loss side, I said, once the spike occurred like this, you simply now close the positive buy, then you open a fresh buy and back it up with a sell. So that's just the logic of the strategy. So we've already closed it, so we have no business with this uh, this section, this trading uh, section again. So let's just focus on this boom, uh, 500 markets here. Okay, so we'll wait for a spike to occur, a, a, a bullish spike. Once it occurs, then we we'll just we we'll repeat the the process. So I hope you are getting it, guys. I hope you are getting the the, the strategy, and then the the strategy is easy. It's, it's, it's quite easy to, to, to do. Okay, so please remember to practice this on demo. You can see that I'm doing this live trading on a demo account. I decided to do it on demo because I I don't want to be distracted when trading on because when I'm trading on my live account, I the, doing this video alone is a distraction for me and I don't want to risk my my hard earned money because of the distraction I'll get from uh, doing doing the video. So just make sure that when you are trading, you are fully concentrated and nothing is distracting you. All right. Okay, let me check this crash one thousand. All right, so you can see this crash one thousand is. So the the purpose of using this ROSI is that um, too many spikes are good, but too many spikes may may cause a problem for us. In the strategy because when you are when you are getting too many spike it will it will make it will make you to stay longer in the market it, it doesn't necessarily mean that you lose your trade if you have the right um, if you have the recommended and the right account balance for this strategy and your equity can carry the floating loss when you are seeing the trade then no matter the number of spike that will call markets will always buy and sell market market cannot just be selling or just the spiking, you know, it always balances. It's, it's, it's always a volatile stock, so you always come down to positive region in your floating trade, or you can just close everything when you notice that the profit you've made from the from the positive trade you close, they are they are going to be far more than the uh, floating losses. So it's not a must that you must close your entire floating trades in in uh, in positive you can actually close your floating this is what i call floating these are the float this is the grid the grid is the floating uh, loss or the floating trade so if your if your grid is in negative you can actually see close everything if you know that 
the the positive trade that you've closed are in a profit amount that will be more than the floating uh, greed a uh, negative uh, uh, trades so it's just a description and you always have your calculator beside you so you can make sure that what you are doing you are you are you are really accurate to the so you always end a trading section in profit so that's the logic of this uh, strategy okay and now friends we are now we are we are running a a forest training class we are running a forest training class because you see this strategy it may sound or it may look easy to to you watching it probably you may need to learn a lot more about forest trading like me my, my i've been on the market since 2011 i've been trading uh, consistently or fully full time so this is something that i i know a lot about markets movement price action support resistance uh, um, supply and demand zone indicators so if you are kind of new to forex you don't know how candlestick work you don't really have so much knowledge because the forex market has a low entry barrier it's something that is easy for anybody to just enter but if you rush in you you rush out so if you want to learn forex training and you want us to teach you practically for you to know how the forex market works then you can contact us we have our forest training class. It's a practical class. It's not a course where we already done video. We just send video. No, it's a practical class where we have one-on-one -on -one training on Zoom. That's via Zoom where you you see your you see your teacher live and direct with Zoom. So you have if you have your Zoom on your mobile device or your laptop, we we'll have our Zoom lecture and we we'll, we we'll practically teach you how to trade forest market as a professional trader so that you be able to see a market even without having any can do uh, uh, any indicator on your chart or any design patterns on your chart you'll be able to interpret market movements just from naked candlesticks you don't need to install maybe moving average or oscillators or uh, bollinger bands you don't need to install any indicator on your on your screen just with a bear chart with candlestick because these candlesticks they interp they have a lot a lot of interpretations that they give from a single candlestick information that you see so with that alone you are you are able to know a lot more about forex uh, trading so if you need such a, 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 a services or training you can contact us and we will we'll arrange something so it doesn't matter your location like i said it's a online a one-on-one -on -one training is practical so even if you are not a nigerian if you are in kenya uganda india you know you can contact us and enroll for our forest training course and then we'll, we'll show you the practical aspects of trading make sure you have your laptop or your mobile device so that we we'll enter into trade we'll, we'll, we'll learn a lot about uh, technical analysis just for you to be familiar with the forex market all right so let me just check the trades again to see what's the update on the trade okay so my boom 500 okay okay oh actually there was a spike there was a spike here you can see there was a spike here but i didn't notice because i was talking a lot so there was a spike here but this spike is a um, it's a negligible spike it didn't spike up so the spike still made the edge to to continue that's the greed the edging because now what we did here is that this is buy and sell this is buy and sell so we are not really using any margin here so this trade can run for 100 years as long as the reef is still working your your account will not wipe it won't close so it's when when we have it's when you have probably two buy or two sell and one buy then you see that your margin percent will display here so that's when you are now actually trading with margin so that's when you need to pay attention to your equity so that you'll be able to make sure that you manage your trade properly and make profit so now with what it is like this now as long as it's buy and say it's just an edge and if we leave it like this you just keep on running like this so that's just what it's all about so this spike that occurred wouldn't have cost me to close any positive because this spike that occurred 
it, it, it was still we are still inside the uh, below the price the spike didn't go up above the, the our entry price so as when the, the spike went up above our entry price this buy here would be in positive it will be in positive so that's when i'll close the buy then i'll now open another buy and back it up with the sale so the 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 the, the boom 500 is always in a sell chain but after every interval a spike occur so that is just what the strategy is all about so we're waiting for a spike to occur probably when when the spike occurs and then if they buy the bullish spike if it goes above the spike then and we close the trade and we end it then we know that we've gotten we've gotten enough for today and then that would just be it so if you are just watching this um, episode here i hope you've, you you need to watch from the beginning because this is a continuation of a a previous uh, video because i don't want the video to be too long so that each video will be uh, useful and unique for our uh, watchers so please make sure to watch from the beginning if you are just if you just stumbled on this uh, video to watch this uh, trading uh, live trading this video was brought to you by sogit buy or sell your bitcoin and perfect money on sogit.com we will pay you instantly within two minutes sign up today at sogit.com slash register and also remember if you are a nigerian watching this video apart from the fact that we are a, a, a verified uh, payment agent for derive in nigeria we are also an an exchange that we are a digital currency exchange company so what that means is that apart from funding your derive account let's say for example you want to buy bitcoin a perfect money usdt or uh, 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 other digital currencies or cryptocurrencies you can also contact us on suget as long as you are in nigeria so we also apart from derive we deal on uh, other other digital currencies and if you check you can see on the screen you can see our website you can see we deal on bitcoin insta forex uh, just forex derive a uh, bitcoin uh, at the uh, perfect money and theta uh, usdt so if you want to purchase any of those digital currencies you can always contact us and we'll fund your account instantly within two minutes So friends, we are still waiting for the spike to occur. So that is just what this um, strategy is about. You must wait for the spike to occur. So it's when the spike occurs, that's when we can make profit from this strategy. You must wait for the spike to occur. So once, once you get your spike, so when, you, when the spike occurs, you have to make sure that the, 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 the length of the spike or the the momentum of the spike is higher than your buying your buy price you see because we want to make sure that this buy is in positive territory so once the once the spike occurs and your buy is is now in profit then you close the buy then you open a new buy followed by a sale so you always have two sell and one buy because the the boom 500 is always in a sell trend it will always sell but occasionally like for example now if you if you if you look at the entire screen here you will see that i can count the number of of a bullish spike you know this is one two three four five six probably there is one around here just behind this one click trading icon here so let's say six but can you count the number of sell candles we have? You can't even count. Just between here to here is around 10. Here to here should be around 12. Here to here should be 10. This should be around 7. Here to here should be at least 20. You know? So here to here should be going to like this 10, 20, should be at least 30. So this is what we do. We know how this thing works. 
and we've done this for so so you cannot estimate the number of cell candles but you can count the number of buys so you need to just have few buys and more sales in your in your in your grid when you are trading this strategy but you must always use the right technique because there are times that the the market will just uh, reverse from oversold to overbought so you are going to get a lot of bullish spike in a in, in, in succession especially this boom 1500 they are fond of doing that so just make sure to use the right lot size see the 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 least lot size you can use on the dairy mt5 is 0 0.2 that's the lowest lot size so check check the, uh, the 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 recommended lot size i gave you in the first video so it's 0 0.2 that's the lowest lot size you can use for for, for trading on a, a boom or crash on the dairy platform so you need to now calculate of course the minimum i recommend in the in the, in the manual and that's my the table i i think that should be 300 dollars for 0 0.2 so please just uh, check that first video so you see it and then make sure to use the right uh, lot size so that you'll be able to carry the grid when they are much when we have a lot of uh, uh, spikes here and there right okay let me just check other markets in case we have signal okay let me just check here Okay. Yeah, okay. Alright, so we just wait for wait for the spike to occur. Okay, I can't I can't find any close support level. I can't find any, so I really don't know when a spike may occur. So sometimes I just check the the next higher time frame. So we have five minutes shot here. You see, of course, in the five minutes, there is no, there is no next uh, support level. So I'm just come back here. I always re just restrict yourself to the one minute time frame. So we we'll just wait for next uh, closest uh, support level to to show up, and then or if you see in the screen, you just to be sure that a, a spike may occur. So what what makes spike to occur a bullish or, or bearish a reversal spike is support and resistance level. Alright. Okay friends, you can see a spike just occurred on the on 500 there, yeah, you see. But unfortunately the spike is not high enough to put our bias trade in a positive territory so the edge still continues but whenever something like this occurs let me show you a, a trick i always do so it's part of the strategy i'll just do it for you here so but it's quite difficult to do but if you learn it if you master it you'll be able to understand it. so what i just do here is that i simply close this positive cell here I open a fresh sale, I pack it up with a bag. Alright, so what this means now is that it seems we are in a oversold uh, region and a lot, of, a lot of sellers are here. So, hopefully, if we get one single buy, we'll still be in profit and the buy will simply just come up. And if even if the buy spike even occurs and doesn't even pass this other buy here, we'll still be in profit. So that's just another technique. It's like an inverted edging. So it's something that I also mastered in this uh, from this strategy. So it's just for us to maximize our effort and our time from a trade that we are we are in. So I'm just I'll just wait for another spike to occur. So you just see what what the technique is all about. What I just did. Okay. Now you can see that this is my trading history for today. You can see this eight dollars eighty four cent for today. And of course, if I come to current current period, if I take today, you can see it's exactly this. So there's nothing um, 
there's nothing hidden here or nothing uh, nothing trick you know so it's just what we are doing and then i'll just come back to the open trees here so i'll simply just wait for if it's if it keeps on coming down or it makes a spike it's either way either way either way it goes we'll be imperfect we are sure of that so let's just keep observing it okay i'm also monitoring this boom 1000 index here the RSI will soon get to 30. So once it gets to 30, I would enter a trade just to see what how it goes. Alright. Okay, friends, as you can see, a spike just occurred now. It's on the boom 500, and you can see my this buy here is in positive, and this buy here. So, what I just do now, I'll just close. If I let me just even close everything. Okay, close everything. Alright. I just like to close everything because I felt that the buys were, were okay. So, you can see now our profits. We don't have any trade now, we've made uh, five dollars, five dollars profit now. Okay. So I just need to let's continue. This video was brought to you by Sogit. Buy or sell your Bitcoin and perfect money on Sogit.com. We will pay you instantly within two minutes. Sign up today at Sogit.com slash register.